part of our um, PR machine. She's off doing some PR. Um, we also have uh, a couple folks not in my organization, um, but uh, but who've uh, come with us tonight. John Tiliakis. John manages the LA airport. There he is. Back there. Hey, hey, hey. Who are local to LA and have some thoughts about uh, about the airport experience? <laughs> John's your guy. How's that terminal four doing? And if you if, <laughs> and if you really love LA and you love the airport, then be sure to tell his boss, Tim Ahern, who's here. <laughs> responsible for every airport, every domestic airport that we have that is not a hub, um, even though Tim also has worked for American for a very long time and he managed uh, DFW for a long time, our largest hub, and he also managed the, the safety and security group for American <laughs> Airlines. So he's a long time aviation uh, airline guy and really has a lot of great information. First pajama party though. <laughs> Um, but you pull it off so well. <laughs> and then we have Doug, Doug from Boeing, who looks fabulous in his pajamas. As well. <laughs> He's going to be instrumental in helping the Mega Do be a big success when we have it. Um, and so, you know, really, one last thing about pajamas, and I know we made a lot of jokes about it tonight, but this, you know, this is really sort of a metaphor for what we're trying to achieve at American Airlines. Um, we're the first domestic airline to have introduced pajamas, and with that we introduced a whole turn down service in our first class on the 777s, including uh, a mattress cover, um, a new duvet, a new pillow, a new day blanket, a new amenity kit with upgraded products. Um, we're going to have the Galaxy tablets as uh, in-flight entertainment on a number of our aircraft. Um, we are introducing a lot of new things associated with the program. Um, we're buying another 450 airplanes because we know that our fleet needs to be refreshed. We will have the youngest fleet in the next five years. Uh, we know... We know in a lot of cases our product isn't always competitive and isn't always where we want it to be. And we are, um, you know, we're coming out of a very difficult decade and we're moving into a decade where we recognize that for all of you, for all of our customers and for the loyalty that we want to engender, we really need to invest in our product. So this is just one example of that. Yay. All right. And, um, you know, the last thing I'll say, I met a lot of you, you know, every time, every person I met tonight so far, I asked, so, you know, you American Flyer, you, you know, are you one of our competitors' flyers? And, you know, I've heard a mix of things, and I've heard a couple of people say, you know, I'm a United Flyer, but I'm shopping around, and I'm, uh, you know, looking to see what else is out there. I just wanted to mention a couple of things, you know, eight system-wide upgrades when you make like, <laughs> uh, system-wide upgrades off of every fair. <laughs> of award traffic than any other airline, so uh, great work. Um, and I'll just conclude with a 100% mileage bonus for yes. our platinum level equivalent. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thanks, Maya. I'm glad that they set the microphone just for you. <laughs> I'll be happy to consult on the uh, upgrade of wines in your first class and champagne for your first class cabin. No problem. I got some time on my hands for that. <laughs> so, uh, did I hear Krug, anyone? Deep yeah. Yeah. Oh. I want no, we're not rappers. We don't drink Cristal. <laughs> well, we are going on a trip. Uh, we got to have a place to stay, right? Yeah. And. Um, I gotta tell you, uh, we've become really good friends with those guys in Chicago that uh, every time they have a promo uh, lets us stay a couple of nights at the Hyatt Lyle and then get a <laughs> night for free at the, uh, at the Park Hyatt in Zurich for, that usually costs about 800 euros a night, uh, which is, you know, the way it should be, right? <laughs> uh, our dear friends at Hyatt has, uh, has uh, come through for us and they listen to us and as you know everybody in this room has Jeff Zidel's phone number. Um, uh, in his office, uh, not a cell phone. I'll, I'll you know, I, I'll be happy to give it to everybody if he, <laughs> if, if, if he, uh, if he misbehaves and starts taking away breakfast and stuff like that. Uh, Hyatt Scott got, uh, got the stuff that we uh, frequent travelers want, and they've listened to us and they've made some major changes in their programs. And I'm really proud that they're coming back. 
uh, as a sponsor for the One World Mega Do as well as my w number one choice of, of hotel chain. So, uh, Jeff Seidel, can you come up and say a couple words? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Uh, thanks for coming out. We really appreciate it. I know a lot of you have said you've been to uh, the Riot Hyatt before it was on Dawes, and what a transformation it's been. So, uh, we're not going to throw any TVs off the balconies or anything oh. like that tonight. Or if you want to, maybe. Uh, but no, seriously. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I met many of you in uh, the Park Hyatt Chicago uh, just a couple months ago and then again in Denver and uh, we look forward to working with uh, you and uh, earning your business uh, as we move forward into the, the One World Megadoo. So I won't uh, repeat everything that Maya said but you know it, I couldn't agree with her more that you know we too share the passion of travel and uh, every day we go to work thinking about how we can make the travel experience uh, better for all of our great customers around the world and I think that's that sh same passion uh, that American uh, demonstrates. So we couldn't be more excited to uh, be here to be a part of it and share it with American. We also have some great things to talk about. Are we going to kind of go through a couple of the slides here? Or just uh, we're going to do that after. Do that after, just okay. You, you got your free uh, okay. 15 I, minutes. I get my <laughs> 15 minutes left. I got, I'm going to go free form. All right. Um, so a couple of things to note then. Uh, we also, with, in conjunction with the pajama theme, uh, we have Hyatt robes for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So be sure to pick up a Hyatt robe uh, back in the back uh, before you go uh, home this evening. It'll really complement uh, the pajamas. And then, um, and then we're going to talk about some fun things that we're going to do with the Megadoo uh, later in terms of uh, status and bonus points and all that kind of stuff. So with that, uh, Tommy, I will I will turn it back uh, over to you. Tommy. 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 What about me? <laughs> <laughs> Our dear friend Jeff Zidell. Well, the moment we've all been waiting for. Um, we're going to have you guys come back up again, obviously, and talk about your promos. Um, yeah, Doug. Uh, we uh, obviously want to talk a little bit about Boeing, who is going to be integral in this uh, part as well. He sales guys blew it and didn't sell all the planes that American ordered. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> You know, I'm actually in sales myself. I'm a VP, <laughs> so tell. I can, yeah, no <laughs> So um, uh, we have a soft spot for you guys. You took really great care of us. Yes. Skip is our dear friend uh, up in Seattle when we visited uh, last year. Uh, we flew in on a 757, and um, I don't know what to tell you. We're going to be doing the same this year, but to a different airport that you guys uh, operate. Maybe. Um, so uh, uh, everybody, uh, give a big round of applause for, for Doug from Boeing to, to make the trip down to us. Uh, it's a year of change, so I, I, I got my card out, which is a you know uh, a measly 1K card right here, uh, which is my uh, airline, and I requalified for this card back in June um, on an airline that doesn't upgrade me. And, uh, <laughs> and then we got Randy Peterson over here. He's got his global services card, and uh, and he's he's got the, his uh, his yeah he's. Actually, I think he made lifetime global services right now, so he's, uh, he's going to be a little tougher to convince than me, but uh, I don't know what to tell you. He's got a lot of zeros before your frequent flyer number there, Randy. <laughs> uh, and then we got Ed, who, uh, you know, he's cheated. He, he's not made it to 1K. They matched him, so he's, he's got two cards. <laughs> but he's got this one right here that says yeah. Executive Platinum on it. <laughs> you sure? I Bought a lot of stuff to get up to that two million mark, haven't you? <laughs> no, the difference between us, uh, the difference between us United Flyers and and uh, and the uh, and the uh, and the um, American Flyers is that we have to plant our ass in a seat every single time we want to earn a lifetime status, which is kind of you know tough. It's been a good run for the American Flyers. And I am surprised they haven't done anything with it before. But um, it's a year of change for people who fly United a lot, and I do. And um, uh, I'm glad that we're doing this thing because it gives us the opportunity to learn a little bit more for those. I saw there were a lot of hands up for people who have a status with United. 
even though there are some hardcore American guys as well, and you know, there's there's probably a mixed bag. So, uh, and the people in this room, uh, there's going to be a, at least double, twice the amount of people going on the charter itself. But let's uh, go into the uh, to the facts here a little bit about what we're going to be doing. So, uh, as you guys obviously know, there's going to be a, a charter flight and, it, and an optional international part. And uh, we're starting off uh, with flying, uh, we're going to JFK on January the 23rd, which is, which is a Monday, where we will have various activities with various uh, One World partners. Uh, no. It's not a holiday. It's not a holiday. We make sure of that that it's not Labor Day this time. <laughs> uh, we're actually going to start at the Amdas Wall Street, which has given us a phenomenal rate. And this time, we're actually going to do a really nice program there. And and uh, we will be there, all of us from the Star Mega. Oh, for, excuse me, for the one. <laughs> Stuck in the middle seat in the back of that plane, right? <laughs> it's Tommy class. Oh, excuse me. Tommy class actually got the middle seat open. But Randy's got a picture of me that you can take a peek at. The first time in my life I flew KLM was this week, and that was in the middle seat. And the only thing that saved me on that hour flight was a little Stroop waffle that they gave out for free. But uh, I'm not going to do that again. Uh, we're going to be flying on a uh, 777 from New York to London, an American aircraft. Um, and that, that'll be the first part of the thing, and we're starting in Sunday, and we're going to have a dinner on Sunday that's uh, put together by Mile Point uh, for Sunday night with, with all mega doers getting together. Uh, and the Aldous Wall Street will be the venue. We'll have a lot more rooms, and the rate is phenomenal. Uh, I don't know if we can share it, but it's less than $200 per night. Nice. Whoa! Um, BA, we all know BA. We got a, a beautiful plane up for you right there, Doug. You see that, baby? Love it. How about that, huh? Uh, they know how to shop planes over there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> On the white body side, anyways. So, uh, definitely uh, uh, gonna have some fun at the hotel in uh, London. It's going to be the uh, Hyatt Regency uh, Churchill Hotel. Thinking about yep. the Ondas, it's a fairly small property. <laughs> and this one is closer to the Heathrow Express that we're going to be utilizing back and forth to our activities at Heathrow. Um, on the 25th, which is Wednesday, we will be flying back. And first, just to make sure, you guys can go and try and search if there's any availability in business and first class on that plane. <laughs> there's not. This is the first two flights ever in the Megadu history that will be 100% of us in the premium cabins on that aircraft. Woo! And do I need to ask you to bring your jammies? <laughs> I didn't think so. My jammies. Uh, exactly. Hey, we got one here. Hey, Muchacho, we got one for you in the back. Uh, we're going to be flying to Dallas, the home of, uh, we're going to ha have line dancers waiting for us in uh, Texas. And uh, we're going to be at the Hyde Regency DFW and have a reception uh, that night when we get there. Moving on to Thursday, which is going to be the American Airlines Day. They got a phenomenal program. And actually, see that plane up there? That's the one we flew over here. A bunch of us were on that flight yesterday, and that's the one I was on. And uh, I was in business class, the international business. I couldn't find the TV, though. It looks like somebody <laughs> stole it or something. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're, we're on that plane. It was really cool. Uh, got a cool picture of it. And, uh, and uh, sent it to uh, to uh, to Maya to, to make sure that she knew the ride was uh, that she uh, that you you were in charge of that right you made that happen right? absolutely okay <laughs> um, we're flying uh, on the charter which will be a 757 aircraft uh, this year so a little bit bigger than what you guys saw at the last mega we did uh, we're flying out to Boeing Field uh, I don't know has anybody landed a Boeing Field ever. Are you sure? And not ever. Not where we flew the last time on the nope. Megadoo. No. Boeing Field, anybody? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit more common than Everett, but uh, it's uh, we're going to have a, a nice program. We're going to be hosted by Boeing on that uh, day. We're going to stay at the High Regency Bellevue because we're getting in pretty late. And we're leaving early in the morning. So uh, going to downtown with all the traffic and everything, we skipped that. 